Hey guys, I'm back with another declutter today. Oh, hang on, I need to sneeze. Okay, so today we're going to be um, doing the rest of my drawers. Last declutter we did the top three, and now we're going to do the top or oh, the bottom three. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Um, in this drawer I have my blushes, my bronzers, and my highlighter palettes. Then down here I have like my single highlights. And then the last drawer is my lashes. So let's get started. Um, I can't guarantee there'll be a lot that I get rid of today, but we will try. So first for highlighter palettes, I don't think there is any that I'm going to get rid of. I have the MAC Carper Real Glow palette, the Ofra Feeling Myself palette. This one's probably one of my all time favorite palettes, the Jacqueline Hill one. This is the Flash, I think. Yeah. Uh, this is the Soph X Revolution palette, and I do really like this one. And then we have the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow. If there was one that I could get rid of, it would be the this one, but I just... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll get rid of this one, because I really like this shade here, but it honestly looks pretty similar to the one in Soph's palette, so... Yeah, I feel like I can um, probably get rid of this one. So yeah, I'll say goodbye to the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow. It is such a nice palette, but I just need to be cut through. This is the um, Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. Um, I actually got rid of my other two glow kits. Um, but yeah, this one's my favourite, so I'm keeping that one. And then this is the um, Nicole, I think it's Giario Glow Kit, and it looks like this. Um, and I think I'll keep this one for now. And then the last uh, palette in here is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. And I do really like this one as well. So I'll just quickly organize them. Okay, on to blush. Um, I might go for the ones that I'm definitely keeping first. So this is the Crossroads blush from Colourpop. I love this. It's such a beautiful blush. It broke as soon as I started using it, which makes me really sad, but... It's still usable, so I'll keep that. This is my favourite colour, my favourite brush, blush from ColourPop. This is the Gummy More Super Shock one. It smells amazing, and it's just the prettiest shade. And I'm definitely keeping that one. Um, I really like the what is it? This Wet n Wild one. It's called the Princess Daiquiris, and it's like one of their Umbro blushes, and I really like that. So that's staying. Um, I do quite like the Morphe 2 one. I really like the formula, so that can stay. This one's in the shade Dream. My Fenty one I do really like. This one's in the shade Cool Berry, and it looks so intimidating until you put it on, and it's just such a beautiful shade. Um, what other ones do I have? I really, really like the NARS Orgasm one. It's such a pretty one. It's another cream. I feel like it's definitely like a cult favourite. I really like that. I recently got the Stormy blush, um, and I want to play around with it a bit more. Um, so yeah, I'll keep that one for now. The ColourPop um, Terrain Up My Heart. I really like this one as well. That one can stay. I think both of my Tarte ones can stay. That's such a pretty shade. This one's Fairy Flush, I think. Yep. And then this one's in the shade Party. That one can stay too. Um, I really like the Morphe one in Spirit. That can stay. Now, as for this Morphe one, this is the Blush Trio in Pop of Peach. And, yeah, it's just way too dark for me. I don't know what I was thinking when I kept this. Like, it is never going to work properly for my skin tone in a million years. Like, maybe this shade, but these two are just... Yeah, so anyway, that one can go. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution blush palette, and I actually really like this. I think it's just so pretty, um, and so cheap and versatile. So yeah, I will keep that one for now. Um, and then the last one that I have here is the Focalia one, which once again is just so beautiful, but... 
I mean, I just don't know. I just, I haven't reached for it in so long. It was in my um project pan for the last like couple months. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Maybe I should hold on to it for now and then try, like go next to it maybe. Anyway, I'm just gonna organize these blushes. I never thought that I would see the day where my blush drawer got full. But anyway, moving on to bronzers. Once again, I don't know how successfully straw is going to be because I love my bronzers. But we'll see. Okay. This is the Revolution Mega Bronzer. Now, what I might do... It's because I also have this one from Revolution. And this one is in the shade Take a Vacation. So I might keep this one because this one is my favourite, it's broken which is really annoying. But yeah, I might keep that one and get rid of this Revolution one. I have the BH Cosmetics one in Bronze Babe which I do really like. The Mecca one I really like, this one's in the shade Medium. That. And I have two Morphe ones. So I have this one here which is called De Bonte. And then I also have this one up the back which is a lot lighter and it's the Icon one. I really like them both so I might hold on to both of them. Um, honestly I think I might get rid of my Colourpop one in Private Party. It's just not my favourite. I just don't really reach for it so yeah I might get rid of that one. And I think the rest of them I will keep. I'll just give you a quick overview of what I have. This is the MAC one in Golden. We have the Fenty Cream one in Machinato. Machinato? I don't know how to say it. This is my all-time favourite in Shady Beers from Fenty. Looks like that. Very beautiful. Got the Kylie one that I got the other day in the shade Khaki. Um... This is the Hourglass one in the shade um, Nude Bronze Light and I love it. It's so beautiful. My Anastasia one in Saddle. Looks like this. Also, this isn't all of my makeup collection. There's a few things that are out at the moment that I used the other day. But obviously if I use them the other day, I don't want to declare them. So. Um, this is the Too Faced uh, Sweetheart in Sweet tea bronzer and I love this one. What I might be able to do is I've got these three little um, Too Faced ones. This one here is my favourite. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil so that one can stay. Then we have just normal Chocolate Soleil which is beautiful as well and I might get rid of this one. This one's in the shade of Sun Bunny and I'll keep these, these two. And then I also have the gingerbread tan one, which smells so good. Okay, let me reorganize. Okay, on to <laughs> this drawer, which is just... Oh gosh, I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm gonna leave this bit to last because that intimidates me, so we'll start here. First I have the two benefit highlights which I'm obsessed with. We have Cookie, which is my favourite, and then we have Tickle, which is more like, like pink, and I love that one as well. Then we have also from Benefit the um, Dandelion Twinkle, which I love. It's such a beautiful highlight. I have these two from Colourpop and one is way too dark. Um, it's this one here, Wisp. So I'm going to get rid of that one because it's just... It's such a beautiful shade but it is way too dark for me. And last time I used it, it looked atrocious. So, get rid of that one. Precision is Formula Mineral Glow Pearls in Champagne. It's such a pretty highlight. Oh, actually. I don't know. And then this one is the 
butter highlighter in pearl. It smells so good. I think both of those can stay for now, I guess. This is um, the Luna Beauty one in Mercury. Um, I do really like this highlight. It's too light for me, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's so beautiful. Well, I don't know if it's too light, but it just comes with a little bit of a weird shade. So, anyway. I think it's time to say goodbye to my Stila Heaven Sheet Highlighter. I love it so much, but it's too dark and it just looks so silly. Like... <laughs> It's just so stunning, but yeah, it just does not work. So that one actually really makes me sad because I just love it. But I have my three Kylie ones. I have um what's this? French vanilla. And then we have the new one I got the other day, which is in the shade Ice Me Out, which looks like that. And then the last one I have is cotton candy cream. Which, is that too dark? No, that's good. Okay. All those can stay. Um, back here we have my Doll Light Highlighter in the shade Like a Diamond. And that one is definitely staying. It's such a beautiful highlight. Um, this is the Revolution Pro one in Radiant. I think this one's all good. Yeah, look at it. That is just such... A beautiful highlight, I love it. Um, and then I've also got the um, Revolution Skin Kiss in Golden Kiss, and I don't know if I should keep it or not. Oh, it's quite pretty, I might keep it for now. Alright, moving on, I have these two big Colourpop ones. I have um, Euro Trip. Which is staying, I love it. If I can get it open. It's not gonna open. Is it open? Oh yeah, so that's that one. It's so beautiful. And this rose one. <laughs> it's so stunning, but I think it's too dark. Yeah, look, it's a hundred percent too dark, but I can't get rid of it. I just can't. I think I'm going to keep it for like an eyeshadow or something maybe. Because I just, yeah, I cannot get rid of it. I'm sorry. Anyway, moving on. This is the Becca one in Moonstone, which can stay. And then I also have a Becca Champagne Pop. They're both just little minis. Um, they can stay. This is the Tarte one in Exposed Highlight. And it's so beautiful. I have this um, Mecca Cosmetica one in the shade... Oh, it just says it's called Enlightened Powder Midi. It doesn't have a shade. But that one's really pretty and I like that. I can stay. Um, this is the Too Faced Love Light in Blinded by the Light, which can also stay. It's just so beautiful. This is the Morphe one in Lit. Once again, it's just so yellow, isn't it? I feel like it can stay for now because I do like it. This is like the holy grail of highlights. This is the um, Anastasia X Emerizi and this is just, ah! I can't even like begin to describe how much I love this highlight. Like it is the best highlight in the whole entire world. So that's that. <laughs> this is the um, Colourpop Queen Frosty Pixie Puff, and I do really like this, and it smells so good, so that can stay. Um, my Hourglass Mini Brilliant Strobe Light is amazing. The Fenty Beauty Mini Hustle Baby is also amazing. Fenty Beauty Lighting Dust X Fire Crystal, amazing. The Jouer Citrine Highlight, amazing. I know, I'm sorry guys, I know. I did warn you at the start. So I didn't know. Um, the Fenty Diamond Bomb. How many carrots? This Morphe one in Spark. Is it too dark? Oh no, it's good. Okay, that could stay. 
We also have Wet n Wild in Precious Petals. Just so beautiful. The Wet n Wild formula is amazing. That one does look kind of dark, doesn't it? I might give it one more go on my skin and see how it goes. This is the Exo Beauty Radiant Glow Highlighting Powder in Aurora, which is staying. Okay, I should hopefully be able to get rid of some of these. So this is the Ofra one in Glow Gold, and I feel like it's going to be too dark. Just by... Yeah, that's going to be too dark, so that can go. Makes me sad, because I love Ofra, but... Then this is the Ofra one in Glazed Donut, which is fine. <laughs> Just look how pigmented they are, like... That is insane, but yeah, that one's fine. That can stay. We have MAC in Oh Darling, which is staying. We also have Beaming Blush. Both of those are staying. I love them. And then last but not least, we have MAC in Soft and Gentle. So I did an awful job of decluttering my highlights, and I'm sorry about that. But, oh, I've got to go through this part. Okay. These two Morphe um, little things. I really love these. I think these are so cool. These are the Morphe 2 ones. What are they called? Gleam Catcher Illuminators. I really love them. I have First Light and Moonbeam and I was really impressed. So they can stay. This Madison B one can go. I just, yeah, I didn't love it. So that can go. There's no point holding on to it. Um, the Anastasia Liquid Glow. I feel like what I need to do is like move this to my um, primer drawer because it's something that I'll use like underneath foundation. So if I put it in my primer drawer, I'll remember to use it. I have my three loose Anastasia highlights. We have Sunset Aura, um, So Hollywood, and Snowflake. And these two are really the only, only ones that match me, but I want to keep this for like. In the corner highlighting and stuff. Yeah. Then I have my three Jacqueline ones, which I just absolutely love. I have Bomb, High Vault, and Extra. These are like my favourite. Like, I'm just so sad that they're not permanent. Anyway, Cover Effects Moonlight. I think I might do the same thing with this one and like move it to my primer drawer so that I can remember to use it like on the makeup. Um, then I have the two Revolution Pearl Lights. I have one in Peach Champagne and True Gold and I love both of those. They're so good. The Fenty Beauty one in Fairy Bomb. This smells amazing. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. This is the Fenty Beauty Fairy Bomb in 24 Cray. Sorry. It smells so good. Oh, I love it. And then the last one in here is my Too Faced You Also Jelly Highlighter. I do really like this. I don't think I make it anymore, which makes me sad, but it's really good. And that one is in True Champagne or something, I think. No, Gilded Champagne. So. Okay. So, like I said, I know I didn't do very well. But don't judge me, okay? I'm moving on to lashes. Hopefully, there should be something in here that I can declutter. Okay. Right. Um, I feel like all of my um, all of my Unicorn Cosmetics ones can stay. I think next time I might have to declutter some because they are getting to the edge of their life, like the end of their life. I mean, so I have Blaze, I have Strawberry Shortcake, um, Apple Sours, Fluttershy. Um, and these ones are called Bubble Pop, and I'm going to actually get rid of these ones. I'm going to put them in an empties video, though, I think. And then I also have um, Rebel Smoke as well, but they are on my desk right now because I used them last night. My EXO Beauty ones, um, I have Panther, and they are staying. And I also have um, Thunder, which is staying. And then these two, I have a, uh, Fantasy and Illusion. Fantasy can go because I broke them, but I love these lashes so much. I just need to repurchase them, so I'm going to put them in the empties as well. And Illusion... I think I cut them too short or something. But these are going to go in my empties as well, because once again, I love these lashes and I need to repurchase them. 
Um, that's my other extra beauty lashes. I have the Chic or Chic Feline. And I've also got the Romantic, the Rebel, and the Sonic. And all of those are staying. I use them like if I go out and want to do something a bit more natural. So they can all stay. Um, I have my Colourpop ones. These are baddie. They can stay. I have it Shorty, which can stay. And also Doll, which can stay. And I do really like all of... I really like the Colourpop lashes. Um, these are just, once again, like a bit more of a natural lash. So I kind of use them, you know. It's not very often I use, I use natural lashes, but when I do, I really like those ones. My Ruova Beauty ones are absolutely stunning. We have Boss Baby, which is pretty wonders. And then we have Spice and Baby Girl. So all of those can stay. I also have my Savannah Rose uh, Salty Collection, and they can stay as well. I really like them. My Chi Chi lashes. What do we have here? I'm going to get rid of Alkali. I'll put those in my um, empties as well. There's Heidi. My favourite ones are Linda. So Linda can stay. I'm going to do like Adriana as well. And I think I might put Heidi in my empties as well. Moving on to Dodo Lashes. Uh, I did really like these, but I feel like time to move on from them so i'm gonna put all of these in my empties as well um just because yeah i just haven't reached them in so long they're i think they come from like china or something so they're not super accessible well they are like but you know what i mean like anyway so yeah i think i'm gonna put those in my empties as well then we have my morphe lashes i have yas queen which are humongous and i'll save those like i save big lashes like these for like Halloween looks and stuff like that. And then we have a Glam Ambassador, which is really nice. And then we have Teasem and Obsession, and they can all stay. I have my Savannah Rose Cosmetics in Obsessed, which can stay. They are almost on their, like, almost finished their life, if you know what I mean. These are by Pinky Rose. They can go. I don't use them. Put them in my empties just once again. Um... All of my Doll Beauty lashes are staying. So we have Selena, Chloe, um, Samantha and Jasmine, is that right? Yep. And then I also have Anastasia and Esmeralda. And then I have some, these are lashes by Jade. We have Natural Ho, OGs and Beach flare, so they can all stay. I'll put my spinner on now. Okay, so that is the rest of my drawers done. Now I know that it's not like super cutthroat, and I'm sorry about that, but I feel like I still did an okay job. Um, apart from the lashes, this is everything else that we got rid of. So you know, there's a few products there, not too mad about that um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that was still satisfying for you but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye